we don't advertise because we, I, I, this is our slow season, but we don't advertise because when summer's here, people are waiting an hour for a table, and we don't want to like create any more demand for that. We don't want two hour waits as a business. Nobody wants, we don't advertise, we don't do anything. And I don't really think that Flatbread does either. You know, they really max out their doors. It's hard to get a table there on like a Monday night sometimes, you know. So we're not fighting for each other's business. They even, as Paul Saylor made, kind of like a, just an assumption of beer culture in Burlington and open farmhouse because there was, we needed more bar space for people who wanted to drink great beers, not just beers that we were producing, you know. Um, there's also, there's a lot of culture around here for people who are, want to drink the beers that are on Beer Advocate and are getting 100 points on ratebeer.com, you know, and people want to be, have that available here. So you'll notice that like Wadooski Beverage, Pearl Street Beverage, have their, their beer collections have gone through the roof in the last 18 months. It's extraordinary what they're doing. So you know, there's a better beer selection than most of the beer store, and most of the package stores now, than there is wine. And I think that's saying a lot, that like we've done a lot to, to push that also. Switchback was founded in 2002 uh, by Bill Cherry and one of his college buddies. Um, in October of 2002, the first pint of Switchback Ale was sold at Ake's Place on Church Street. Um, basically, everything you see here, Bill assembled by hand. It was flown out from a out-of-business brewery in Arizona. He worked part-time at Home Depot, uh, spent most of his time here putting things together, brewing the first batches completely by, uh, by hand. Uh, after sales started to take off, end of 02, beginning of 03, we started pretty substantial expansion, in end of 03, beginning of 04. We went from uh, like three fermenters to, you can see outside, we have a full complement of 20 fermenters in our cellar now. Um, once we reached that point, we were brewing basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week out of this system. Um, a full day's work here at Switchback Brewery is a two tank turnover. So we take the beer out of two tanks, package it, and brew back into those two fermenters. Um, but what that means for us, it's a 15 barrel system on two 30 barrel tanks, means four brews to fill two tanks. So literally just constantly brewing, making more, trying to make enough, failing to do so. We couldn't, we couldn't make enough beer, we couldn't make enough, fill enough kegs to make everyone happy. So what do you do? You expand. And that's what we've done. This system here is a four tank system. Uh, what that means is we can have overlapping brews. So with our new 200 barrel fermenters, which we've only just started brewing in, we can do the three brews required to fill them in about 16 hours. If we couldn't overlap brews, it would take closer to 24 or 26. You know, the tour today was probably pretty close to 50, 60 people, um, which is huge. You know, we used to have tours of 15. Uh, yeah, no, like for a while, Switchback was nothing, and it's blowing up in, in a pretty big way. Um, we're looking to expand into Maine and New Hampshire next. That should be fun. You know, Vermonters as a whole take great pride in what they do and how they do it. Um, I know my grandfather, who you know, worked at a plastics company down in Bethel for a while, he worked his butt off, not because it was his job, but because he, he well, yeah, because it was his job and he cared about <laughs> making a quality product. And that's just, I would say, pretty much across the board, that's how Vermonters are. We give a shit. Um, it's part of being a smaller community. You know, we're not a, a populous state. We've got a lot of farmers here. When you have an agricultural community, you have people who's whose life is invested in the land that they live in, in the soil that they work with, and they give a shit about it. And that's why, you know, the people here, we care about what we do a lot. I don't make great money doing what I do. You know, if, if I wasn't getting money from my dad, I wouldn't be able to live here and work. But fortunately, I, I am in a situation where I, I can be financially stable without needing great employment, and I can give my time to the brewery uh, because it's what I want to do, it's what I enjoy, and it's what I care about. Very few people can really say at the end of the day that they love their job, but I love my job. I couldn't really see myself doing anything else, and at this point, I'm making moves towards starting my own brew in the next five to ten years, so yeah, right. I love my job. <laughs>